Queen Elizabeth II is making it crystal clear to Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, that she will no longer tolerate the out-of-control spending sprees or the PR disaster involving Thomas Markle, which has been dominating the headlines in the British press. Her Majesty's wrath caused Meghan to become quite angry after she and Harry were forced to fly economy on British Airways, with the spoiled Duchess giving shocked passengers a real nasty surprise. A few days ago, reports began emerging about Queen Elizabeth holding crisis meetings regarding what is being dubbed the Duchess disaster at Balmoral Castle, the monarch's summer residence in Scotland. It was quite a shock for Her Majesty to learn the truth about who her beloved grandson married. As the PR nightmare erupted with Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, the Queen was baffled as to why Meghan had completely cut off her father, leaving him to drift with the hungry British press anxious to take advantage of the situation. The royal family can't afford bad press and they have PR teams to handle their image. Well, it came out that Meghan had been lying all along about dear old dad. She told Harry's private secretary, Edward Lane Fox, she had her own PR team handling him, and all the arrangements were in place for his trip to the UK for the wedding. That never happened. In fact, since her engagement to the prince, she has only spoken to her father three times to date. As Mad World News previously reported, the Duchess also lied to Harry's PR team which caused the prince's longtime secretary to quit. Edward Lane Fox quit over Meghan's haughty attitude as she refused to take his advice regarding how to handle her father and her extended family. Doc Palace insiders say that, when Edward Lane Fox departed this summer, he warned Harry, saying, it's Meghan's bad press hurting the royal family, and especially your grandmother. Reports got back to the Queen that Meghan's been lying about her father since the engagement. Now, Thomas Markle is like a wounded papa bear, bewildered about why Meghan's completely cut him off. Four days before the wedding, royal insider Sarah Vine wrote via the Daily Mail, why isn't he Thomas Markle already in the UK, attending rehearsals, being talked through what to expect and getting to know the social landscape? She added, the Queen herself is said to be furious about what's happening and who can blame her. Because whatever else may be going on behind the scenes, it's abundantly clear that royal officials have seriously dropped the ball. Which brings us to the outcome of the crisis meetings held at Balmoral. First, the Queen has ordered Meghan to be kept away from the press. Page 6 reports, a royal correspondent is claiming journalists are being kept at a distance from Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle during official engagements so that they can't overhear any remarks that might breach royal protocol. Richard Palmer, a reporter for London's Daily Express who has covered the former suit star's appearances, made the claim on Twitter Tuesday in a series of tweets. Royal wrote a journalists are being kept further away from her than we were before the wedding, he claimed. That means we can't hear what she is saying. Her Majesty can't keep Thomas Markle away from the press, but she can keep the Duchess off limits, which is making the former American actress go nuts. Meghan's a classic narcissist who can't get enough of seeing her image splashed all over the news. The Queen just put her in a big timeout. Dot feeling the Queen's wrath, Meghan and Harry skipped going straight to Balmoral as they had planned. Instead, as they plotted to sneak away to the French Riviera, they got the kibosh on using any of the Queen's private royal planes. 
The Prince and Duchess were forced to fly economy class on British Airways. Angry and acting entitled as ever, Meghan gave the passengers quite a nasty surprise. She was pissed off that she would have to endure the commoners on the plane. Meghan and Harry were spotted traveling by British Airways to the destination and sat in economy class, the Express UK reports. The couple was seen by the toilets at the back of the plane and took up three rows of seats on both sides of the plane. Meghan attempted to go incognito by wearing a black beanie hat, while Harry wore a baseball cap when traveling. Well, they can put off seeing the Queen for a little while, but sooner or later, they will have to go to Balmoral and face the music. Harry's obviously feeling caught in the middle, and lately, he has sided with his grandmother. Now that it's come out Meghan has ghosted her father, as she has done too, so many in the past, Harry's blinders are coming off.